Hello again, my name is Roger Carvalho. I'm support and training manager for Dolphy Tech. And today we're gonna to talk about inspecting a CFRP sandwich panel, which looks pretty much like this. You have a core and a CFRP skin. And this particular sample, we have a part that has not been glued or has not has had any adhesive applied to it that we're gonna see the difference. And also, as you can see over here, there are two different cores diameters that we can uh, differentiate also having some adhesive that we can look into. Okay, let's go look at it. This is our basic setup. That's how that's out of the box using our CI 5 megahertz TRM for this application, a little bit of a higher frequency. You can see right off the bat that my range is really big and I haven't played with my gain or anything of those elements. So the first thing I wanna do, that's just my way of working is I'm gonna get the range to be smaller. About five millimeters of range should be enough for us. Get my delay here so this, the front line's at the zero. And now I can start playing with my gain and my transmitting elements, that kind of thing. You can see right now that I'm, I'm at the part where the larger cells are in the core. And I move along, I see the, a little adhesive part, and then this is where it turns with the small cells, and I can't really make them. I can see that it's different, but I can't really make them. So let's see what we can do here to get this better. I'm going to enable my TCG. It gives me a little bit of a better signal in the back. Looking at my transmitting elements, right now I have four, I can go to eight. You can see right away that makes a big impact on my image. Things are starting to get clear. Signal averaging. Let's go to four. And my pulse pitch, my transducer pitch, I'm still leaving it at a quarter of a millimeter. Now again, coverage. Delay and range we already looked into. My velocity, CFRP. Transducer area, I leave it at the full area. Capture method, uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. You can have max positive or max negative image to clean my image a little bit. But right now, I'm looking at absolute. So I'm using all of my uh, wave to look into it. Got my front gate of my C scan. A little bit further back maybe. Okay, and we're good here. Now, in order to make the different cells, I can try one little trick, which is using filters. So, go to my image filter, put a gauss filter on, and then my digital filter. If I go to six megahertz, you can already see the impact it has in the image on the image. This are the big cells, the adhesive line, and now we start to, to see the difference between them. Now you can start to make out the lines for the smaller cells. I would maybe turn off the gauss filter. Yeah. Can even take some of the gain down. Just keep it rolling. So over here we can see the smaller cells, an adhesive layer between it, and then the larger cells constructions. Okay. Another thing that we're able to see with this camera, with this particular sample, is that right now what we're looking at is the impression that the cells make on the layer of adhesive. That's what you're seeing here. So the white dots are the higher amplitude return, are the areas of the center of the cells of the core that don't have any adhesive. These lines that we're seeing here 
That's the attenuation of the adhesive on the back side of the front plate. That's what we're seeing. So for example, this, I'm flipping the side now. I have one side of the sample that has no adhesive, and I'm gonna be able to show you the difference between a part with the adhesive and a part without any of the adhesive, okay? So right now, just got a little goo here, a little bit of water. Right here, I'm still seeing the large pores, the large cells. And as I move over to this side, all I have is the return from the back wall. So there's no attenuation. If I turn it on its side, I can even show you how my finger can dampen the sound on the back of the plate. So that's why some people try to see a disc bond from cell to core, but we can only see the disc bond if the adhesive comes off. Good bond, no bond. And over here on the other side, we see the smaller cells, the adhesive line, and then the larger cells. Okay, thanks for watching.